So yeah, man, do um, do numbers have certain powers? Yeah, this whole like this whole number thing dealing with like numerology. Um, so I use an example. A lot of the times I say up like seven. You know what I mean? Seven is one of my favorite numbers. And all throughout history, you can see in different denominations, different cultures, they they would use the number seven to represent something. You know what I'm saying? So for example, within Christianity, you got the seven angels. You got the seven heavens. Um, in Sufism, you have the seven nafs or the seven bodies. You know what I'm saying? Um, many different uh, people attribute the number seven to perfection. It's supposed to represent perfection. You know what I'm saying? So when I say up like seven or when your seven's up, I'm saying you know become the best you, become the best version of you, become perfection. You know what I'm saying? I believe you got a lot of people say you know there's no such thing as perfect. I think. That's true when you believe that. If you say there's no such thing as perfect, then there's no such thing as perfect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's literally that simple. Um, so, in regards to numbers having powers, they do. But at the same time, I feel like the individual gives that number that significance, that, that, that power. You know what I'm saying? So, seven may resonate with me, but another individual or not. When they see seven or hear seven, it don't resonate with them. You know what I'm saying? So, again, it's that individual power that, that that it goes back to you again it's inside you you understand what i'm saying you give that number reverence like yo this this number i see it all the time or it's within my family you understand what i'm saying or i see it here and there so therefore you start to associate a feeling with that a memory with that an idea with that a power with that you understand what i'm saying so seven's power to me because i say it is simple <laughs> you understand what i'm saying and you can see a different cultures or whatnot but i feel like they've done the same thing They've given, remember it was us that given numbers, you understand what I'm saying, a significance, you know. Um, so we will see something within nature, alright, boom, it takes a, a, a fetus to develop nine months in the womb, you understand what I'm saying, and then it's completed and then comes, you know, the human beings come out, you understand what I'm saying, so the number nine represents completion, you follow what I'm saying, so it's those things we look at in nature and be like, yo, boom. This is what this represents. I'm gonna fix that number to it, you know. Um, but it's mad when you get into the numerology. It's, it's, it's mad because different, again, different cultures would have different meanings for different numbers. So when you say like the numbers have powers, you know what I'm saying? A number four could mean goodness in this culture, and then you cross the seas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's nothing but you know it's something negative. So then it's like, what is it then? Like you know what I'm saying? Where where is this power power line? So. Yeah, man, that's my take on this whole, whole numbers, numerology thing.